Hey all, Flat Switch here. Well, according to my uh, chat last night, I still had some of the boarders telling me that um, how do we get a down vector based on relative density disequilibrium? Well, here is your answer. It's the relative density disequilibrium equation. Well, like I was trying to explain, I actually have an equation that I made. This equation brings together relative density disequilibrium and incoherent downward acceleration. How does that happen, you might ask? Well, firstly, you have potential energy. This is equal to the mass divided by the, the, the density disequilibrium, which is governed by the incoherent uh, dielectric acceleration, which, you know, releases the, the energy, which gives the vector down by the height. And that's how when you change your elevation, you get your accelerated vector. I hope that makes sense to everybody. Get it, yeah. Um, so we have our Van de Graaff generator right up over here and the discharge wand. This will create a high potential while this one creates low. To make it simple, I'll just say a positive and a negative. So we have our negative or our positive plate hooked up right here, coming to this I have two pizza trays here with the copper coil in there. I just wanted to add a little bit more density to the uh, plates so they could hold more potential. Did the same up here. So we have our positive running to this plate, two pieces of styrofoam acting as um, insulation so they don't discharge. And then the negative um, discharge wand is running to the top plate. So this is like our, our earth ground right here in this demonstration. And this will be the sky. But we've reversed it. And when yes. we found out, when we do that and we apply a charge to it, things stick to the top. If you've got any more questions, please do, don't feel shy to ask. I'm more than happy to try and explain it. Till next time, have an awesome day. God bless.